Hello, dear students. How are you? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Okay, this is Miss Lou from Jahan College School, class teacher for grade 2. Today, I'm going to explain you lesson in math. We will learn how to do the subtraction with the three-digit numbers. It means ones, tens, and hundreds. Until today, we only learned how to do the subtraction with one number and two numbers. Okay, this is the first video, and I will start, uh, I will explain from page 151 to page 154. Just be ready. Okay, do you know what the subtraction mean? Okay, subtraction, for example, means when you have 10 pencils, you will give 6 pen pencils to your friends. How many will remain for you? Only 4. Exactly, yes, this is subtraction, and today we will learn how to do the subtraction with the hundreds. For example, do you know 500 minus 300 equals what? No, because we haven't studied yet. It's a big number. We will not imagine. Okay, but we will learn today. Look at the picture. There's five blocks. Each one of them contains 100, right? If we remove 100, 200, 300, how many hundreds will remain? Only 200, right? And if we are going to uh, write down it like this, 500 minus 300 equals 2, 200, very good. What if we write with the um, numbers like 500 minus 300 equals 2? 200. I will make it easier for you. Just look at this example. Look, this example is about ones. For example, 9 minus 5 equals 4. It's easy. If we write, if we add hundreds to the numbers, 900 minus 500 equals 400. Very good. If we write with the numbers, the same example, but we added the zero. 900 minus 500 equals 400. Very good. Okay, do you understand? Can I move to another example? Yes. 8 minus 5 equals 3. Very good. 800 minus 500 equals 300. 800 minus 500 with writing equals 300. Very good. Well done, my dear students. Now I am going to explain the new lesson. New way to do the subtraction. For example, we will do it like way, like this. Uh, 236 is minus 129 equals to what? If we, do, if we want to do the subtraction, we cannot start from here, from the hundreds, to do the subtraction, say 2 minus 1 equals 1. No. And we cannot start from the middle also. We should start from the ones. 6 minus 9 equals. If you have 6 balls, can you give me 9 balls? No. We should ask your friend, right? Mr. 3, can you give us one number? He said, yes, of course. If you give us one, two will remain. And we will become 16. Don't forget, we will do the subtraction with the new numbers. Okay? 16 minus 9 equals 7. 2 minus 2 equals 0. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So the result is 107. Very good. Okay, another example. 963, 757. Again, 3 minus 7. 3 eraser. My, uh, okay, if you have 3 erasers, can you give me 7 erasers? No, of course. Ask your friend to help you. Mr. Sikis, can you give us one eraser, please? Yes, of course. He gave us one and he became five. And we will become 13. 
Very good. And we will do the subtraction with the new numbers. 13 minus 7 equals 6. Very good. 5 minus 5 equals 0. Well done. 9 minus 7 equals 2. Very good. The last example. 787. 245. Okay, we said you will start from the ones. We will not forget this. It's rule. You know, rules are important for us. 7 minus 5 equals 2. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Okay, do you understand? Okay, thank you. Okay. So, this is the end for today. Um, just study well. Do the exercises on the book by yourself. Um, have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.